adding a virtual device okay so there are two ways that you can uh, test your app one way is to connect your physical device and then uh, you uh, deploy your app into your actual physical device and the second way is adding a virtual device and test and run your app onto that uh, virtual device so today we will learn this how we can add a virtual device and we can test our app into the virtual device okay so you can see that in our previous uh, lesson we had already created this uh, register activity if i'll show you into the uh, layout file so we had created this uh, register activity where we have uh, added a few we have added a few components this was a label and these were all the edit text and then we had a button then we also had an image view right so we have uh, created a few uh, components now if we want to run this so we need we need two ways i have already discussed that uh, either you can connect to a physical device or you can create your virtual device so if you want to create your virtual device you need to go to the device manager right so you can search for the device manager uh let's say if you go to your tools section and down here you will have the device manager so you need to create a virtual device uh before creating your virtual device if you will see here in this section just next to the run button you will be able to see no device okay so i have already created one device but if you have not created your device you will see no devices so you will not be able to run this so let me show you how i have created this device i'll repeat the step so i'll go to the tools and then i'll go to the device manager so i'll click this device manager and you can see this is the device manager section appears where you have two sections physical and virtual so i want a virtual device so i'll click on a virtual device as you can see this is a list where i have already created a virtual device but i want to create a new one so i'll go to this create device section from where i had clicked on a virtual device you can see there are lots of devices tv phone mac tablet and everything so i'll go to the phone and then i have lots of uh, device list here good device list here and i'll choose any one a uh, device from this so you don't need to worry because either you have a samsung or vivo it doesn't matter here we just need a device so i'll choose any pixel because all these are from the google google pixel devices now let me tell you what is important here it's the size screen size which screen size you will choose this is a constraint while we develop android apps because uh, it's difficult to have an app that will fit perfectly on all screen size devices let's say 6 uh, 5.5 6.0 5.8 6.0 there are variable screen sizes so what we do is we try to uh, find let's say if i choose 5.8 so this app will look good on 5.8 obviously because we are designing accordingly it will look okay in 5.7 as well it will look okay in 5.6 as well and it will look okay in 6.0 as well okay maybe it will not look very good in 6.2 or uh, 6.5 so uh, generally if we see we have a mobile phones somewhere around 6 inches so i would prefer to have a device with 5.8 screen size so i'll choose this pixel 4a okay so you can see i'll choose this pixel 4a i'll select and you can see the screen size is here uh, 5.8 and now i'll click on next from here so you can see i have clicked on next then you have to choose a system image basically it's the hardware components that are required to run your virtual devices i have already downloaded one and if you have not downloaded you can choose any of the apis uh, let's say you have api 33 you, this you can choose on click on download but once you will click on download you need to be connected to the internet for that purpose so i have already downloaded this is Uh, no big step uh, you can choose let let me do it let's say how much time it will take let's say if i'll choose let me choose this android 33 api so this is asking for the license agreement so i'll accept the license i'll click on next and now you can see it is downloading the required components 
सो यू कैन सी कंप्लीटिंग रिक्वेस्टेड एक्शंस इट्स डन कंप्लीट हो गया नाउ वी विल क्लिक ऑन फिनिश एंड वंस वी विल क्लिक ऑन फिनिश वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग दिस एपीआई सो वी विल सेलेक्ट दिस एपीआई 33 एंड दिस इज योर हार्डवेयर इमेज ओके सो दिस इज योर हार्डवेयर इमेज एंड नाउ वी विल क्लिक ऑन बाय सेलेक्टिंग दिस एपीआई 33 I'll click on next. So uh, now it is asking a little bit detail. Let's say the device name. So I'll keep this uh, pixel for API 33. I want a portrait mode. I don't want an, uh, this landscape. I want the portrait mode. Uh, enable device frames as well. I can also go to the advanced settings and can change the camera and skin options as well and network options as well. But uh, currently, let me not uh, do any changes into that. I'll keep all the uh, settings by at default and then I'll click on finish. So once I'll click on finish, you can see this new device is here. This is Pixel 4X API 33. Now we can uh, use this virtual device to run our applications. Okay. So now this is how we used to create our virtual device. And then we will be able to run our applications on this virtual device. So you can see I have just clicked on this run uh, button and then on the device manager. So this is initializing my virtual device. So you can see this is my virtual device which is initialized here. So you can see this device is in action mode and uh, it's just like your actual device and you can do a lot of things here. You can click, you can search, you can uh, play, you can call, you can do a lot of things. It's actual uh, virtual device. Let me try and run the app again. So you can see this app is now installed on the device. And I can have the controls. Yes. So this app is now installed here in the device. You can zoom and see the same device is having your uh, installed app where you have these uh, edit text. And now you can click on any of these edit text. And now you can click on this button as well. So this is your keyboard of the device. You can keep this window out of the Android Studio as well. Okay. So this is how you use to create a virtual device and run your virtual device. Now let me stop this uh, virtual device and let me stop from here. This is your red button. You can click on this red button and you can stop the application from this uh, virtual device.